presenting the Essex Shipbuilding Museum. The Essex Shipbuilding Museum provides photographs, documents, and artifacts that provide Americans with the history of one of the most important contributors to the success and growth of our nation. Shipbuilding is one of the major industries that has helped early America develop socially, economically, and politically. America depended on shipbuilding for transportation, trading, communication, and survival. Shipbuilding as an industry was established in the Essex County as early as 1668. As the shipbuilding industry became more and more popular and very much needed, the number of ships built and the number of yards to build them in increased. By 1852, there were 15 different shipyards in Essex, and from November 1851 to November 1852, 60 vessels had already been built in the Essex County. It is important that when learning how the shipbuilding industry has benefited America economically, socially, and politically, who did this success start with? Two of the most well-respected and successful shipbuilding families of Essex shipbuilding history is the Burnham family and Story family. A Burnham made the very first boat built in Essex. From then on, a number of the Burnhams participated in the shipbuilding industry. The Burnhams had a very good reputation for the quality and workmanship of their boats. As for the Story family, the family had been building vessels for more than 100 years. There has been seven generations of Story men building ships, and they are another well-known shipbuilding family. Workers in the shipbuilding industry tended to start working at a young age, usually between 12 and 14 years old. Men worked for about 25% of the day, and they usually worked six days a week and had one day off to go to church. More than half of the town population was in shipbuilding. Most of the ships were built out of wood, and tree nails, also known as trunnels, were used to hold the boat together. One of the most important steps in making a boat was the men would have to bend wooden planks in the steam vent every hour per inch. Then. Several people would nail these planks to the frame of the ship, which would have been built beforehand. To keep water from getting into the boats, the workers would wedge in cotton and oakum, which is a loose fiber obtained by untwisting rope, into the cracks of the boat. They would then cover this up with tar. Usually it would take three to six months to build the vessels. What the Essex shipyard is most well known for is it is where 4,000 vessels were built, and this was a huge achievement for all the people involved in the shipbuilding industry. So why was the shipbuilding industry so important? The economic benefit of the shipbuilding industry to America is it gave people the ability to trade with other nations. The business also helped keep the fishing industry alive. Shipbuilding provided many jobs for people of the town as well. As I stated before, more than half the population was working in shipbuilding, and people were able to make the money they needed to support their families. The social benefit of shipbuilding to America is the boat launchings that took place after a boat would be finished. These launchings brought the community together and it was a way for the people of the community to interact with one another and communicate easily. Politically, shipbuilding benefited America because governments saw the industry as a strategic industry. For one, because some ships were used in the Navy to defend America, but also because merchant fleets allowed nations to import vital materials and become more involved in the world by exporting goods. The Essex Shipyard continues to exist today, but now it is known as the Essex Shipbuilding Museum where photographs, documents, and artifacts are preserved to show us evidence of a very important time and industry in American history. There are seven surviving ships that made it through the era of shipbuilding. These seven ships are called the Adventure, the Ernestina, the La T. G. Howard, the Highlander C., the L.A. Dunton, the Roseway, and the Evelina M. Goulart. The Evelina M. Goulart vessel is currently at the Essex Shipbuilding Museum. This boat was originally launched from the Essex Shipyard on June 29, 1927. This vessel was then used until 1980s for sword fishing and a fishing dagger. The Essex Shipbuilding Museum took back possession of Evelina M. Goulart in 1990. The construction and history that comes with this vessel tells a symbolic story of the shipbuilding industry. Some boats are still being built at the museum today. As you can see in this workshop, there lies machinery and supplies still used to build boats. This workshop is also referred to as the Waterline Center. It is not only equipped with machinery and supplies used to build belts today, but equipped with historical artifacts and tools used when the shipbuilding industry first began on display. The multifunctional room is also used for meetings, lectures, and concerts, as it states on the Essex Shipbuilding Museum website. Here are some photos of the inside of the workshop now.
The Essex Shipbuilding Museum is open from May to October, and hours of operation are on the Essex Shipbuilding Museum website. Thanks for watching this documentary made by me, Maria Alexandru. Just met a girl named Maria.